Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Ericsson TV. Curtis here. Uh, Lauren is off today, so I'm going to do this uh, solo. And uh, wearing my Seahawk blue for our upcoming Seahawk game as this is being taped. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, a recent uh, a study done that uh, kind of updates the longevity um, projections for uh, men and women and also for couples. Um, and the, the interesting thing is uh, this is a, a more updated study and uh, it, I think it's cause for celebration, but it also is cause for challenges, and we'll talk about that in a moment. So really, really quickly, um, so life expectancy has gone up significantly um, in, ever since the inception of mankind and, and, and since the inception of our country here, the uh, United States. Um, so this is the average uh, longevity between, for, for between uh, it's average between men and women, because I think most of us know that men and women are a little bit different. Um, but so, so when our country formed, the average uh, life expectancy for an individual was 35.5 years. R roll it all the way up to uh, World War II, at the end of World War II, which is 1946 era, uh, era the um, uh, life expectancy had grown to 66.7 years. And now bringing it up to this most recent study, the average is 78.7 years. And again, that's an average between men and women. Now, what's interesting is that's, that's the average life expectancy from the date of birth. Uh, but, but what happens though is when you, when you reach uh, age 65, your probabilities change quite a bit differently. So what I mean by that, I'm not gonna go through every one of these, but so if a person is age 65, um, to re the probability of reaching age 70, uh, excuse me, of reaching age 80, which is greater than that 78 number that I just mentioned, is the 72% uh, chance of women reaching that age of 80 and 62% for male. Uh, if, you're, if you're a married couple, there's an 89% chance that one of the married couple is going to reach age 80. Now let's roll it all the way up to age 90. Uh, this will be the last statistic I give you. Uh, once a person reaches the age 65, uh, a female has a 33% chance of, of making it to age 90, and a male has a 21% chance. However, if it's a married couple, one of them has a 47% chance of probability. Um, so the takeaway from this is that this, I think it's something we're celebrating and we're living longer with higher quality of lives. Um, however, that also presents a challenge of having enough assets and income to live on in a dignified manner uh, for these longer periods of time. And so, uh, coming back to the uh, the challenge of that, uh, I think I think it makes sense to take prudent risk for retired people, or once you reach age 65, and invest for growth because you need to have uh, growth of income to have that dignified lifestyle. So I'm not going to talk about the investment solution today, but just know that um, the risk of living longer. Uh, means that you probably need to take a bit more risk in your portfolio uh, than, than let's say going all to fixed income to have a, a, a decent chance of a, of a dignified income. So I hope that makes sense and um, when Caitlin presents this, uh, these numbers will be on the, the transcript so you don't have to remember what I just said. Thank you for watching this er uh, episode of Ericsson TV and we'll see you next time. Bye now.